The safety of the almost 40-year-old Kuburg nuclear power station in the Western Cape is once again being questioned. This comes as ESCOM is planning to extend the operating life of the power utility for another 20 years. Organizations opposed to this say it poses a safety hazard due to the plant's age and ongoing problems. But ESCOM says Kuburg is one of the safest power stations in the world. Aisha Ismail reports. Their cries could be too late, as plans are already in place to extend the life of Kuburg's Unit 1 and 2 by 20 more years. And in order to do so, long-term outages will occur next year when maintenance work takes place and steam generators are replaced. Environmental activists say the billions of rand that will be used to breathe new life into the aging Kuburg plant could be better spent. We would rather want government to invest in renewable energies where the community, the women and young people that are unemployed, they can have their own commun um, their energy sources. It will create the desired jobs that people really need. These young ones say they are here to highlight the dangers of nuclear energy and want to preserve the environment for generations to come. We should use solar energy because it is efficient and it doesn't have side effects like the nuclear. The safety of those living in and around the Kubik area is another concern. This is the 16 kilometer line from the plant. So there's an evacuation plan to get people out of this area within 16 hours on that side of the line, but no such plan on this side of the line. The radioactive dust isn't going to stop at 16 kilometers. But ESCOM says all its plans and safety measures are above board, with the National Nuclear Regulator working very closely with the power utility. Kubek Nuclear Power Station is one of the most of the safest nuclear power stations in the world, and it is well regulated and functions according uh, to the law and all the safety requirements. He says Kuburg is the only facility of its kind on the African continent and continues to be operated with utmost care and safety. Aisha Ismail, Cape Town.